Hi, hello, what up, how you doing everyone? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 154 today. Hope you guys are all doing well on this fine Wednesday. Uh, today we've got, there's all sorts going on really. I think we're going to start off with some some packs that I got from SBCs in, in order to try and pack a future stars. We're then going to do some more SBCs, get some tokens and stuff ready for Friday when, uh, when of course, I want to do that nice big fodder pack, the 85 times 10, and then whatever else we can get from that. Uh, and then there's, 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 I don't know, the Chalaba stuff. I've got to get that done as well as, I think, like an 84 plus player pick. So, literally all sorts going on today. Uh, so, I hope you do enjoy. If you do, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. I'd love to see 3,000 likes on this episode. And I know that's such a simple task for you lot because you're all so lovely and loyal to the cause. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. So uh, we start off with, I believe it's, I think I got 10 uh, AE1 plus doubles done and ready i just stored them after team of the year ready for uh for for when future stars came out now uh i believe this stuff was before the sunday drop so i think there's a moment here where i pack like the barca version of ferran torres but it's not the a future stars one so don't worry i'm not getting screwed over uh but by the end of this episode we will have basically caught up to where i'm at currently last night for you guys so uh yeah anyway uh, we will we will basically skip through a few days um, in this episode and be fully, fully, fully back on track for future stars uh, going forwards. Now, I'm also excited to see that the Zidane SBC is a thing. I know it's very expensive. I will be committing to that, though, simply because he is my favorite player of all time. Um, and I think he looks like a really good card, so I'm, I'm down to throw loads of fodder into it and uh and it might take me a couple of weeks to unlock him but i'm not in any particular rush uh and it was more like one of them sort of sentimental cards oh big walkout we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of a courtois um in in this pack right here great for fodder i'm gonna need it i really am because i believe the zidane sbc obviously we'll talk more about this in tomorrow's episode uh when i fully start getting into it but um i believe the zidane sbc is coming in at 1.4 million and he's like 1.3 million on the market so it's a little bit more expensive than he is on the market but i i don't have the coins to just go out and buy him right obviously if you do have the coins you might as well get a tradable one and buy it off the market i understand that but what i do have is a lot of fodder and i think i can get quite a lot of it done um before we even get to that big 85 times 10 fodder pack so yeah we'll uh, we'll see how long it takes me but i've I'd love to have him by the weekend league. I just can't see that happening because we're not even going to get the fodder pack until 6 p.m. that day, right? And I'm normally finished my weekend league by then. Um, so, yeah, there's the, it's likely that you'll see Zidane fully coming into the RTG maybe in the middle of next week or something like that. Uh, I need to get a little bit lucky in some of my packs as well. Uh, that is, that's for damn sure. So, yeah, I mean, these these little fodder packs were all right. I was genuinely really hoping to get a little Future Stars player. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out in my favor. There's that Ferran Torres, by the way. So it was a transferred one, uh, but it just wasn't a, wasn't a Future Stars version. He's got a really nice card, hasn't he? And I believe it's changing, isn't it, on Sunday? He's got a striker one at the moment, which looks nuts. And then there's going to be a right wing version as well. And that's the same for the guy in the Serie A and then also Tomiyasu uh, in in the Prem for Arsenal. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite, quite interesting. What do you guys actually think of future stars? I think I'm a little bit underwhelmed. But I don't know if that's because we're just coming off the back of Team of the Year or what. But there's some really good cards. But I feel like... Like when you look at Bellingham, for example, the stats and you compare them to like Jorginho in the Prem or something, the team of the year. I don't know why Bellingham is so much more expensive. Is it just because like hype and and it is Jude Bellingham and there's a lot of a lot of hype around him and and obviously it's a very very good card. Uh, I just I'm curious as to uh, as as to why things are like more expensive than some team of the years because surely the stats don't quite add up to what the Totties have got. Or do they? You'll have to let me know what you think, actually, down below. Um, and then 
yeah, you can let me know like what you think of the SBC drops and releases so far. Are you gonna do Zidane? Uh, I'm guessing there's most. There's probably gonna be like 90, 95% people saying no. Um, but yeah, it's it's more of a, a sentimental one for me. They could have brought out the mid version, the prime version, the moments version, whatever it may be, and I think I would have worked towards it because that is just the way it, way it is. But apparently, the baby version is better than the mid uh in terms of like box to box type thing and obviously the prime would be better going forwards but uh do you know what i'm just genuinely excited to get any version of him in my club that would be lovely last year there was a chance to get was it moment sedan from icon swaps like the very final icon swaps that literally ran into like august or something and obviously at that point in the game, I was so like drained from it that I just wanted to do nothing but packs, 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 which is why I never ended up getting around to getting him and getting all the tokens and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like to have one in February, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I did manage to get, I think I got like two or three preview packs opened in a row, which meant that I was profiting from a couple of them in a row and then it stopped. Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still looking to try and get past three. I think that might be my record of how many preview packs I've done in a row. Uh, but I should be curious to know what your guys record is as well. Little walk out here. No, oh, it's going to be Jamie Vardy. Oh, I've got a feeling. Is that a duplicate? I've got a feeling that's a duplicate Jamie Vardy and it is. Oh dear. So that's sort of stopped my pack opening, um, stuff like right there i didn't really have much left but i needed to kind of stop because i didn't really want to discard him if i if i didn't have to uh i went off and did silver stars uh get that done off camera because no one really wants to watch that but yeah not too not too uh shabby actually that was a uh, really quite easy this this week for me and that got me another token of course as well as the English cam. I've forgotten his name, but he looks like quite a good card, so I might bring him on in future in my silver teams. Uh, but yeah, this Jamie Vardy was just sort of chilling in my unassigned for a little bit. And as you can see, three more uh, little Future Stars tokens have appeared for me, and I've now got 12 at to, to this moment here. I think I've got a couple more now, like in real time. But again, you'll see that tomorrow, just catching up. Um, and I believe there's, I don't know how many are actually out, but it's at least like 15, right? It's got to be at least 15. Um, so then came the big off-camera slog, which was the Chalibur objective. Now, a lot of it is just squad battles and managerial masterpiece. Well, that's the whole thing, really. So you don't want to watch squad battles. And managerial masterpiece is just a cluster something or other uh, that is normally just like gold and gold and stuff. So again, it's not really great to watch. Um, but I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll cut between, I'll literally like fast forward, I'll cut between when I get each and every card unlocked uh, and it will seem like it's really easy to you lot, but really it took me a bunch of hours in the background to get it done. So I played a couple of Squad Battles games to get myself uh, the first Chalibur. I then played like four Squad Battles games to get the next Chalibur, uh, which is this one right here, the 83, is it? Yeah, okay, we got the 83. And then I believe the 85 needed to go in... No, the 83 needed to play eight squad battles matches. Uh, so I did that as well in, in about two hours, two and a half hours. And I nearly fell asleep. That was that was dull, I'll tell you. But um, there is also a squad battles token this week. There's a, there's a, a token for the, uh, for the Future Stars stuff. One of those purple token cards. So... Uh, if you get gold three or above in squad battles this week. So I believe that token is only going to go to like 40% of the player base or and more. So you're going to need to get a few, a fair few points, I would say. Um, but we got that. We got that done. Uh, we then get another duplicate here, Iago Aspas. Uh, because I, I just discarded that Vardy just to open up a couple of packs. Uh, and then I get a duplicate that I want to keep as well. So eventually uh, I discard both of them and I'll claim them back when we're doing the Zidane SBC tomorrow. Um, but yeah, here it was me getting the 83 one. I got it done. And then uh, I believe we also switch it over to to the 85. What, where do we get up to here? Oh, actually, yeah, we get the, the year in review um, first part done or second part done. 25 matches played, which means I do... <coughs> Unlock a Rule Breakers pack. 
That could be good. There's still a couple of very good ones out there, I believe. I can't name them off the top of my head. But uh, you never know what we're going to end up getting here. Uh, and then, as you can see, the squad battles objectives completed. It was just a case of four more sections to complete one of which is literally just play 25 games with chalaba um but as you can see there's the 85 version a cdm and another token is what you get at that stage so just by playing 12 games of squad battles i think it is you can get yourself another future stars token um and an 85 chalaba and some of you might want to stop at that point for some of you, it might just be getting going. You might find the squad battles the most boring part, and then you don't mind managerial masterpiece online. Whereas for me, I don't really mind the squad battles part. At least it's like, it's brainless, right? I can sit there and actually watch Netflix and pretty much just be doing that on the side of my screen. Uh, whereas managerial masterpiece does wind me up a little bit. Uh, I, I Online friendlies, like they're, they're genuinely golden goal, but for some reason... They wind me up. They get me all stressed out. And it's a little bit like Rivals. Rivals and Friendlies, for some reason, seems to be... Uh, maybe it's just online FIFA. <laughs> maybe I picked the wrong job. Um, but no, we, we get we get through it and we get past it and we just move on. But, you know, it's uh, it does my head in sometimes, I'll tell you that. And I'm sure a lot of you can... Uh, agree with me and, and, and understand where I'm coming from there. So, a few more packs opened, uh, just for those little bits of... Uh, Objectives and then here's my rule breaker pack. We are gonna get Nigerian CDM from Brentford. We're gonna get ourselves a little Prem player. We're gonna get Onyeka the CDM, which I'm like, damn it. <laughs> he looks alright. I can use him in objectives, but I'm literally doing Chalaba, so I can't CDM for my objectives. And I've already got uh, Diallo and I've got Etebo. I'm like, oh god, this is not a position I really need in the Prem. Why am I doing all of this grinding? Uh, but yeah, it's, it, I mean, even if I don't end up liking Chalabar, I want to get rid of him or something. Uh, he's good. He'll be good fodder, wouldn't he? So yeah, that that is for sure. Uh, Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack then for another token. We get ourselves Raúl Jiménez. All right, not too bad. I've seen certainly I've seen better. Because that's almost a 50k pack, isn't it? You get lots of lots of rares and loads of non-rares in that pack. Like 24 items, which is uh, pretty tasty. But uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, Chalaba, we, we welcome him into the squad. And then I realized that uh, I can't just use this team right here for, <laughs> for managerial masterpiece. Siri, what are you doing? Maybe I maybe managerial masterpiece sounds a little bit like that that S word from your from your iPhone or your Apple Watch. Um, yeah, I don't know why that popped up, but yeah, I realised that obviously I couldn't just use that in the managerial masterpiece. You need a seventy-seven rated squad. So this is what I ended up coming up with. I did go out and buy a couple of players like left back, right back, uh, left mid, um, and one of the centre backs, I believe. But yeah, it just certainly wasn't the most OP squad that you can get. I'm go I go into managerial masterpiece, and there's a load of people that have somehow wangled there loan version of Cristiano Ronaldo in there or like a player of the month Salah or something. I don't know how they do it, but uh, yeah, props to them because that makes it a lot more easier for sure. But a whole bunch of hours later, I was able to get this done. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I think after I'd done all of the online stuff, I still needed to play two games with with a Chalaba card like in my, in, in my team. So I just literally like... I think I went on beginner squad battles at that point and just scored one goal and let it sit there for two games um, because I could not be bothered to play anymore or concentrate anymore. Um, so Future Stars, Chalaba, welcome to the club. We have a choice between CDM version and centre-back version. Now, to me, that choice is pretty easy. The CDM version looks clear, in my opinion. I think he looks like a much, much better card. Obviously, this is quite a tall man, so having 88 dribbling is going to help a lot. He's not going to feel as stiff as that centre-back version, and worst comes to worst, I'd be happy to play that CDM version at centre-back, should we need to, and I think he's got a lot more composure and stuff, so uh, for me, CDM version was what I wanted to take, but I also wouldn't be surprised if quite a few of you ended up taking the centre-back one because you legit want a proper centre-back to link to your Kante or whatever it may be, or your Team of the Year nominee, uh, Eduard Mendy. I can see why people might take it, but the CDM one looks a better card uh, in my, my little humble opinion. So, uh, 
yeah, I can't remember what these packs were for. What were these ones for? Were these just, I think these must have just been the reward packs from, from those final few objectives. Yeah, they are. Uh, and then 81 plus midfielder pack. Can we get ourselves a future star? No, well, you'd have seen it on the thumbnail, wouldn't you? If I got a future star, you'd have seen it on the thumbnail for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> I mean, there is one on the thumbnail. It's just the Chalaba one, isn't it? So I put a few more tokens into, uh, into the club. Well, a couple more. And as you can see, we are up to, I believe that's 14. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. And then just to end the video off, there's the 84 plus player pick. It did require two informs and an 82 or 83 rated squad, whatever it may be. One of three players at rated 84 and above. These have been tragic or brilliant for me. No in between. And today's is going to be tragic. Uh, yeah, we get an 85. Hey, we get fodder, but... Um, I think probably one of those informs was most likely tradable, so I could have just discarded one and bought myself a Thiago Silva for the same price and kept the other fodder. That's how much of an L that ended up being. But we will put Chalaba into the team for now, and in tomorrow's episode, I'll work out how to properly get him into the team on, on better chemistry, and then we'll also start Zidane, because I'm excited to do that. Uh, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for you today. A lot, a lot of gameplay went into that one, but I don't think you saw a single bit of it, which is... Uh, it's just because it was so boring or, or rubbish that it's not really like content worthy. But we've filled the video up nonetheless. I hope you've enjoyed. Do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button if you have. I would love to see 3,000 likes on this episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe to my channel as well if you're new. Cheers for that. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Both of those links are down below. Have a great one, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll be back again tomorrow where we start the grind for my favorite player ever, Zidane. Peace.